welcome to episode 4 of the Pest Box, where outside operations continue. So, in this episode, the test box is being built up in the garden. Now I'm more confident that the screws are the correct size. I've ordered more M8 screws, washers and nuts. So there's about 60 there on its way. So I quickly discovered that the box does need corner braces. So I've ordered more metal parts to go so go from one corner of the metal corners to the other. As we'll see later in the video, we'll see just how, how wobbly the box is without corner braces. I mean, that's a, obviously tri triangles, are, triangles are good, triangles are strong, <laughs> as a classic engineering principles there. So now on to the build progress pictures. This one's installing the fourth polycarb panel onto the test box. So building up from the corner of the test box I had last time. I did find it a lot easier working outside as expected because it gives you the space to go around the outside of the box. The only downside really is because it's winter you're exposed to the elements and there's been a few times where I've cleared rain off the covers for example. So then we move on to building up the first roof panel in the shed. The roof panel is very much similar to the base panel where you've got the metal angles and I've cut the corners so you can put the metal angles together at a 90 degrees angle. It was nice to see the build of the box go smoothly with no major issues like misalignment. So then I was confident enough to order some more parts in. And we have here the new packs of M8 screws, nuts and washers. They came at just about the right time because I was running out of screws. So I then moved on to the second floor panel, which fit nicely in place. And it was nice to see that the metal angles were actually two meters long. And the polycarb panel pretty much went all the way to the end of the metal angle. Once this was in securely, I could install this, the seventh polycarbonate panel, which meant there was only three to go. What was interesting in this one is I had to prop up the middle of the box to allow the panel to fit properly because the, uh, the tiles on the floor of the garden were not quite level. So the box was slanted towards the middle a bit. So after that really the panel went in with no issues and with more screws available I was able to go back round the old panels and reinforce those with more screws. So after the seventh panel had gone in place, I had a better idea of what the structural integrity of the box was. And as I suspected, the box needed cross braces. You can see in this video clip just how flexible the box is currently. So this will be solved by putting the metal cross braces in. So those are now in order. They're aluminium U-channels, so they should be pretty strong. So that's about it for the material for this video. In the next video I'll be building up to 9 panels and more and putting the cross braces in. So that about wraps it up this episode. We've made some really good progress this episode where it's built, the box has been built up from just the corner to now, now there's 7 polycarb panels which includes one roof panel and the, the, first, the first panel on the side on the the two meter length of the, of the box. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.